Hello, it's Gem Games here again, and today we are going to make the weapon switch system work again. So yeah, let's get started. First, uh, go to the link in the description. I added a few animations: AR4 lower and AR4 reload. You can download those now. Uh, let's go to our project. Let's add those animations here. Now, let's just uh, select the skeleton, which is the Esky mannequin, mannequin Arms Skeleton, import all. Okay, now we have those. Okay, so yeah, now we just have to create a montages for the lower and upper animation. And it is as, as simple as this, you just Right click the AR4 lower and create and in montage. Now we have AR4 uh, lower montage. Now we right click again, create and in montage. And now we have montage one. We will have to change this no name to um, let's remove this one and change, the, change this lower to upper. You can call these whatever you want, but I think this is most like clear to me. And now you have to open the upper montage and you just have to click this uh, track and here the play rate uh, uh, make it minus one. Okay now it's like you can see uh, goes like uh, backwards. Yeah save and oh, close that. And now we have to go to the blueprints and to the PP first. Oh, oh actually first we have to go to the weapon struct we have to add a new variable and it is first one is lower underscore montage like this and the type is you have to search for uh, anim montage and you have to uh, click the object reference and now we have to create another one and it should be called upper underscore montage like this okay save and close now we have to go to the weapon data table so weapon underscore dt and the first gun i will add here uh low montage air for lower montage and air for upper montage we can actually put the same uh, montages to the uh this uh, another weapon which is the SK KF 47 okay lower montage AR4 uh, AR4 upper montage okay save and close now we have to go to the PP first person character here when it opens we have to I will actually compile and save because the Unreal Engine has been lagging a lot and crashing a lot lately but yeah I will close all these and actually we're first we have to go to the set weapon stats which is this one and now we have two new things here and from here we want to uh, promote to a variable like this and I will make a new row so it's a little thinner and upper montage Promote to variable like this. Okay, now they have been done. Okay, compile and save. Now let's go to back to the element graph. Now let's find our equip. They are here. So now we have to. Uh, we can actually remove all these. I think like this. Now the equip one, we first want to get the hand smash and play montage like this. Now let's connect it to the equip one. And now we want to get the um, weapon upper montage. I connect it to the montage to play. And now we want to copy all this and put it down here. 
and I will actually give them a little more space, maybe like this. Now we want to change this montage to weapon uh, data lower montage, this one. Okay. And then we want to get this one from here. And I will remove it. And on complete, we want to connect this. So when the weapon is, uh, everything has been done, it will, uh, is reloading or changing, it will make it back false. So, okay. And then we also want to add a branch here. And we want to get, uh, get layer controller like this. And now from here we want to get the is input key down. And input key, which we want to check is um, right click. And if right click is pressed still, we want to, um, we actually want to ADS again. So where is our ADS? Oh, it's not here. Sorry. ADS like this function ADS like this. Okay. Now back to the uh, unequip one. We just uh, want to get both of these. Control and C. Now I will remove all these and copy them here. And now we don't want to connect it, them to on complete. We want to co connect them to on lend out like this. So then I think we are pretty much done here. Oh, we have a few errors, which are, we don't actually have to do this anymore. We have to remove it. But then let's compile it again. And everything is good. So I, I just removed the set play rate for the timeline. Uh, for the equip timeline that we don't uh, use anymore. So, okay. Now, uh, now we can actually try it. When we change the weapon, lags because uh, we have to actually go to the animation blueprint to here. We want to go to the idle. We want to copy this here for idle. We want to also connect it to the Lent Force 2, which is the second weapon that we are uh, using. Then we want to go to the movement. We want to copy AR for local, connect it to here, and to Lent, Flo Lent Force 2, like this. Okay, aligned. Okay, now it's better. Then we want to go to the ADS, do the same thing, copy like this, connect it to Lent Force 2, move a little bit further away, compile save, and let's check if here is nothing, everything should be fine now. So we have a test now. We change the weapon. It plays the animations, but we don't uh, have the uh, socket added yet to the weapon, so we have to do that. Uh, so we have to, we can actually go to the APP animation blueprint, and here we can click the skeleton. This is the easiest way to find it if you don't know where is it, where it is. Okay, then we have the preview animation, which is AR for idle, and now we want to actually pause it, so just click from here or space, I think. Now we want to go here, hand R. And here is the air for slot. Okay. Now we want to right click this and remove all at all attached assets. Like this. And we want to create a new socket. Socket uh, should be called KA47. Or if you are using some another weapon, uh, then you can call it that. But you have to remember it. Okay. And then we have to add to weapon, so let's right click from here and add preview asset. 
now we have the flange of KA, SKKA47. I think this is the one that I'm using. Okay. Now I actually, mm, now I think uh, I had to check my values from my other project. I think it was like minus 8.34. And then this one, um, 6.65 and 0.55, you can uh, rotate or put the weapon as you want, but these are my values which are okay, at least for me, 12.3, like this, and this is 21.4, 21 and this is 90.7 and now I think it looks pretty good yeah you can copy these values if you want it to look like this but you can uh, rotate it however you want okay now it's good for me let's save and now I actually have to check if we are uh, we have the socket name variable here and now we actually have to go to the uh, weapon data table to here. Uh, have we set the socket name here on the second weapon? No, we haven't. So KA47. Now I think everything is correctly here. Now we can change, close that, okay. And now we can try if it works. Uh, okay, it's lagging. I don't know why, what is happening. I will close something from my another project. Okay, now it's worked out. Somehow, okay, let's check. Oh, it's still not working. Why is it not working? I have to check it. Oh, I found out the problem. I write it KIA, so it's KA47. Now it should work. So yeah, now we have these uh, upper and lower montages, which are just montages that will change the weapon. And uh, both are same on this weapon. If you create your own montages, you can just uh, connect them here, like to the uh, KA montage to the plant post 2 and so on, you know. And you always have to connect them all to this movement areas and idle. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, there was something else. Oh, we have to check if the ADS socket works. So if we put the second weapon, it's not working, it's glitching. Okay, now we have to go to the, I think it was FP, no, FPS weapon bundle. Okay, weapons measures. KA47, like this. SKKA47, skeleton mesh. Let's open it. And where is our area socket? Here. Uh, why is why it's not working? I think it's the rotation is correct. I have to check the rotation from my another project. Um, where is weapons meshes? KA47, SKKA47. Okay. The ADS. Oh, first we have to click from the skeleton, from there. We just click this one, and now you can close this uh, physics asset one, okay? Ha when it has the skeleton here, you can access the values, okay? So now I think the values are, this one is minus 90 and why, why is this lagging so much? What is happening? Okay, this one is 90. Okay, now let's say... Now I think it should be aligned correctly with the player rotation. Okay, this is... This is working, but this is looking uh, weird. So I will have to check it again. My, I think 
which way to use the arrow. Um, I think we have to move this a little bit more here. I will put it to maybe mm, to 10. Now let's save and check how it looks. This looks good. This actually looks pretty good. I think it has a little bit too much sway on this weapon. We can uh, fix those on the later episodes, but working. Yeah, now we can change the weapon again. And on the next episode, I will show you how to make the reload work again. But yeah, I think this was all for this video. And if you like, please click the like button and subscribe if you want. Yeah, see you on the next one. Bye.